Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Northern Star Sports Weekly. I'm Ben Gross, and this is Seamus Brennan. And I, uh, I'd like to give special thanks to uh, Bill Swarski last week, who filled in for me. Uh, today, we'll have a special guest with uh, Demarcus Grady and Xavier Sow stopping by. Uh, before we get to interview them, Seamus, uh, men's basketball finished up their uh, exhibition schedule. What happened this weekend? Uh, ben, they concluded their preseason schedule uh, undefeated. Uh, they went 2-0. Xavier Silas continued his impressive uh, Husky debut. Uh, he is proving once again why Husky Nation was so excited for him to come. Uh, some, uh, Friday night he had 28 points on 10 of 18 shooting. He had two highlight dunks that got a very small crowd sounding a little larger than what it really was. But uh, the, game, the game was good, 120 to 70 victory over Marygrove. Again, Marygrove, not a Division I school, but uh, it's what Huskies want to do going into Northwestern, which is coming up Friday. That game will be televised on Big Ten Network. And uh, after the game, Coach Patton said he's satisfied with the offensive progress, but the defensive progress isn't there. And you got to wonder how that's going to look against Northwestern with their Princeton style uh, offense, a lot of backdoor cuts. It's going to test the team defense of uh, Northern Illinois. Well, I'm glad we have Xavier stopping by there. We'll definitely have some questions for him. Yeah, I heard. And him and Demarcus Grady, it should be fun. Uh, but football had a pretty big day Thursday. That's right. Talking about Demarcus Grady, you know, the NIA football team beat Eastern Michigan 50 to 6 on Thursday night. Uh, wrapping up with six wins so far in nine games, which means the Huskies are bowl eligible already. They are. Uh, they had to wait till 11th game last year against Kent State to get to that point. Chad Spann led the team with 174 rushing yards, a new career best. Two touchdowns, a 65 yard and a 79 yard touchdown runs, did the majority of his work. Uh, the NIU defense held Eastern Michigan to a mere 182 yards, uh, really kept them out of the red zone for most of the game, kept them out of the game. And DeMarcus Grady led the team not only through the air, going 4-5 for five with uh, two touchdowns and one interception for 119 yards, but also on the ground for 10 carries with 104 yards and a touchdown. The NIU's back in action this Thursday, their final home game against Ball State at 5 p.m. And this will be the NIU blackout. So as many fans show up, they're going to try to get more black in the stands than silver. But uh, Seamus, as I said, we got some special guests coming up. So who's who's coming in first today? I, I heard Demarcus Grady was coming in. Uh, don't use the new quarterback. Oh yeah, hey Demarcus, what's up, man? Uh, how much, Seamus? How you doing? Good. Uh, you know, you've been you had a pretty big game yet on Thursday, four or five passing. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, Ben Gross kind of called you out this week. What do you what do you got to say about that? I mean, who's Ben Gross? That guy's a hack. I mean, when, when has he ever thrown a football? I don't think he has. That's no. right. That's right. You know, I'm out there, man. You know, you know that incompletion? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, I actually completed it oh. to, a, to a, a, a defender there because I could have thrown it away, sure. But I want to make sure that I hit everybody, okay? Yeah. I'm that good. I can hit anybody. So I just was like, you know what? Why not give Eastern Michigan some love? You know that post route? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can throw that post route all day. That bubble screen? No problem. Slant? Got it. I mean... What other passing routes do you need? Right, take it easy, Demarcus. Hey, easy. hey, I'm just a little bit angry here because people are uh, underestimating me, and I just like to say four, five, two touchdowns. Come on. All right, all right. So, well, uh, thanks for letting me yeah. air out. Yeah, and that Ben Gross guy, whatever. Right. He, he doesn't know what he's talking right. about. But uh, bye. But the, the, the Marcus, though, I mean, uh, Seamus, I, I hear though uh, Xavier's been doing pretty well too. Yeah, uh, Xavier's been doing very well. Um, and I heard he's coming. Yeah, in. yeah, Xavier. Uh, oh, 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 Xavier, great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Um, so. I got one question for you. Are you going to save the men's basketball team this year? One uh, one word will answer that. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm what NIU needs. I'm a slasher. I can take the ball to the rack. I support Danuno and Anderson very well. You saw it in my first two games of the exhibition, Ben. 30 points. 28 points, I can do it all, and Northwestern Illinois, you better watch out. I mean, but you're no Chauncey Billups, right? I mean, you're, yeah, you're, sure you're from Colorado. Yeah, you're right. I know Chauncey Billups. I'm better than Chauncey Billups. Uh, I'm six foot five. I can score. I can, uh, you know, I'm, I'm better looking than him. I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm the complete package. Well, Xavier, thank you for stopping by. I, I can't wait to see you dominate the floor this year. No problem. Awesome. Well, in other news, the NIU volleyball team was in action this weekend. Uh, lost on Thursday to uh, 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 Western Michigan. Uh, after winning the first set, dropping the next three, and then this Saturday against Bowling Green, they've won the first two sets but couldn't close it out, dropping the next three. Uh, volleyball team will finish up the regular season this weekend facing Eastern and Central Michigan before starting the MAC tournament. Seamus, uh, wrestling also started off some action this week. Did uh, they had their 2009 wrestle off where the you know all 20 members of the wrestling team wrestle against each other? There's 10 matches. Uh, There's a couple blowouts, a couple tight ones. Uh, Coach Dave Grant said he was impressed. And this is all, of course, in preparation for uh, Sunday, November 15th. 
uh, for the Michigan State Open. Excellent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us. Also, two quick notes. Don't forget, the women's basketball team plays against Lewis in their only exhibition game of the season, 7 p.m. on Tuesday at the Convocation Center. And the men's soccer team begins their MAC playoffs this week on Friday, the 13th, against a number one Akron. And this will be the third time the Huskies face a number one team in the nation. So uh, we'll see how they fare on Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us. This is Seamus Brandon, Ben Gross, the Northern Star. We hope you have a wonderful week. And we'd like to thank DeMarcus Grady and Xavier Silas once again thank you. Thank for stopping by. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.